Hello everyone. On today's episode, we're going to show you one of the hidden gems of the Bahamas. We're exploring the Berry Islands. When we last left you, we were on our way to the berries as the sun was setting. Let's pause for just a moment and enjoy this breathtaking sunset. On today's episode, we're going to tell you about the good and also the not so good. Welcome to our channel, No Tops at All. My wife and I have had a lifelong dream of cruising the Caribbean. We fell in love with this stunning Regal 4260 that had fallen into a state of disrepair. Follow us on our adventure as we restore this boat and fulfill our lifelong dream of cruising the Caribbean. Our day started out with this little guy joining us. Whether he was good luck or just knew that we were about to catch fish and he was going to get fed, I don't know. But it wasn't long until he was well fed. My grandfather was a great outdoorsman who was known for his success in fishing and in hunting. I, however, have not been that successful. On our trip, we decided to bring along a couple of poles and if we catch something great, if not, well, we have food in the freezer. Today, we caught enough food for the next three days. A wise boater once said, something is broken on your boat. You may not be aware of it just yet. And today that was our story. Our journey started out from Bimini to Berries, was around 97 miles and we planned for it to take 12 hours. We had a new Garmin autopilot and radar installed before we left Fort Lauderdale. We planned on the autopilot reducing our workload. Unfortunately, our Garmin autopilot short circuited. So the reason Natalia looks so tired is that she helped share the over 10 hours of driving with a boat and no autopilot. In everything in life, there's good and bad. Great Harbor K Marina is one of those. We will tell you more about it later in the story. But for now, we decided to get a slip and start working with Garmin's technical support. You've heard the expression island time. When you're in the Berry Islands, there's not a lot of supplies, but the people are amazing. If you will just tell them what you need, they will do everything in their power to help you. In working with Garmin's technical support, I needed some 10 gauge wire. Well, one of the locals said that he would be back at five with it. So we decided to go exploring the island on our scooters. The views are breathtaking, the people are amazing, and please don't take this as a criticism. As remote as this island is, it's amazing that they have roads at all. And I've been to parts of the U.S. with much less hurdles to overcome that had worse roads. But one too many potholes and finally Natalia's luck ran out. Whoa! Babe! The staff at the local clinic took great care of her, helping reassure us that she didn't have a broken ankle. But what I really want to brag about is the staff at Great Harbor Marina. The dock master came to rescue us, even though we were on the opposite side of the island, and take us to the clinic, and then come pick us up and bring us back to our boat. I can't say enough good things about them. It didn't take long for Natalia to get restless, and even though the doctor said rest and take it easy, to keep her legs elevated, her energetic nature would not let her sit still, and so she started pestering me to take her out for a dinghy ride. So we went out for a little stunning evening ride through the harbor and the inlet. As night approached, we headed back so that we could prepare for our crossing to Nassau in the morning. 
so that we could repair our boat and continue our journey. With a full gas tank, batteries fully charged but operating on a single alternator and greatly diminished electrical safety equipment, we prepared for the quick journey over to Nassau to get the boat repaired. As always, we would like to thank you, our Patreon supporters, and please like and subscribe, and we look forward to seeing you on our next adventure in Nassau.